Oh hey there people, it's late in the Sunday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I went to bed early last night, but today was just one of those days, like I left my window slightly open in the bedroom, which wasn't good because we got snow that came in on an angle and the house took on a bit of snow by me doing that, but whatever. Nothing, the heater won't melt and I can just sop up with the friggin' sponge. But anyway, um, friggin' uh, the other night, this happened. LOL. LOL. Application device sign-in attempt from Keystone, Florida, USA, attempted to hack into my account. Fucking goofs, I'm telling you. Really? Really? At 1.05 a.m., it is currently 1.34 a.m. Goofs, really? Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to continue to notify me of this for for two weeks now. Because some fucking moron tried to log in with my account. What a bunch of doofuses. Good luck guessing what I use for a password. Because no, it's not my birth date. It's not my phone number. Oh, I'm telling you, some people's children should have been aborted. Gotta love it when people try to hack into your YouTube account, eh? Fuck, I'm telling you. But we got the dose uh, pretty hardcore, you know. Today, theoretically... Oh, farted is the fourth day of spring and uh, you wouldn't know you honestly wouldn't know but looking out there actually you know it's not too bad it's, it's not too bad the uh, there's drifts by the entranceway I got to get out there and clean that up because you open the door and you push the snow around so I'm gonna go out there and deal with that but uh, today is my last day of my three-day weekend and then it's back to work we go so pretty awesome pretty awesome oh hey my mustache is doing some nasty shit i'm probably trimming that off thinking of uh trimming this down so you know it's kind of annoying when you're like drinking water and stuff and the long hairs manage to get into the bottle and things and yeah you know we're eating food and food collects on it and i don't know i don't know how people do it how people can deal with mustaches and beards i'm also thinking of trimming just this part down and this part over here and just leaving this here all dark and then having this all shaded out see what happens and uh, go from there but um yeah i guess people didn't like my april fool's joke one bit i don't know that video hasn't gone up even though i'm shooting this one right now uh this one went up after it but i'm gonna assume a lot of people are pissed off by it you know if they are pissed off learn to take a joke it's not too hard and if you took the joke well well then awesome congratulations people you know thanks for coming out but um, i'm gonna wash my face and see if i can get this fucking mustache under control rock piss wash my hands wash my face life is good but uh oh yeah shown these before the uh ice wall coming off the roof yeah thinking i might uh have to talk to some people and get some shit fixed around here which will be done this summer and uh also you know this is what uh I'll let the dog out there because should be able to see through the screen but you see how he picked up a lot of drift and you used to oh you can still see the door of the trans amp but uh you want back in come on Oreo or not I don't know I don't know about this dog but <laughs> I need to go out there and shovel this off and hey Oreo get over here He's been going into the neighbor's yard and taking shit over there, and they've already given me hell for it. And uh, when this little pecker head doesn't listen to me, and I tell him to get over here, and he ends up going over there anyway. Ah, right, here he goes. He tried to make a run for the neighbor's yard. All I had to do was yell at him with whatever, like, you know, get all friggin' in his face and shit, and he came back. But, uh, no, he has been going into the neighbor's yard, because right now it's possible. I don't know if this is going to white balance, but if you look over there, the snowbank leads right into the neighbor's yard, and he's been going over there, because he's light enough where he can walk on the snow banks not sink in where I got out with my boots and I walked through the snow and obviously I just blow right through it and find the lawn but he's been going over there shitting in their lawn and uh, they've been yelling at me about like keep your fucking dog under control and stuff if you don't uh, keep your dog in your yard I'm gonna report him you know get him taken away and things and it's like well fuck take it easy they don't want to play that game with me like they have like four fucking shih tzus that any hour of the day go off like a fire alarm and all you hear is these little fucking yap dogs you know uh, little yappy bastards like him he only barks when I say bacon bacon see bacon 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 Oh, she's gonna attack him. There we go. <laughs> Bacon. She gets she gets so upset when he starts jumping at me. It's funny. You're funny. Goofy. You're goofy. But yeah, their dogs go off like a fucking fire alarm any hour of the night, and that's all you hear is the one will start barking and the other three just start barking because the one started barking and it's like frig sakes I'm trying to sleep and things but I don't complain about it well I just complain now but you know I don't bother complaining about it to them and you know 
I wish Oreo wouldn't go into their yard, but the little asshole doesn't listen to me half the time unless I get really mad. And uh, yeah, it's just the way she goes. So a couple nights ago, I went to uh, the grocery store, um, picked up some meat, uh, some pork chops. Uh, they had six pork chops. Six pork chops for nine dollars. And they weren't little either. Are you swinging at me? <laughs> Look at her. I'm walking downstairs and she's like, totally like, she hit my shirt and hooked it and <laughs> she's getting bigger, eh? She's almost the same height as Oreo now. I can't believe how quick she's exploding. I remember when I first brought her home and she's sitting on the step here and her head is barely higher than half the height of the step. And now she's just so big and cute, but she's still a little dick. I don't know how she pulled it off, people, but uh, uh, I found one of my Nintendo controllers, my Wiimotes, in the entranceway today. And I don't know if you can see that. See how it's all chewed up? That is not Oreo. If Oreo bit into this, he would have fucking snapped her in half. Dog's got good, powerful jowls. But that was totally the cat, chewing on the Wiimote. And I have no idea how she managed to get it out of this here area. Let me show you where I keep them. I only have three of them. But I keep the Wiimotes in this thing. And uh, unless she grabbed the fucking strap and like, yanked it out and stuff, but you'd think she'd take this whole wooden guy with it. Yeah, totally chewing on the Wiimote. I don't understand it. You know, her uh, tube thing, where is it? Oh, there it is. Her tube thing's still there. She's been playing with that. And she plays with Oreo's foxes and his toys when he lets her. Oreo's totally biting that cow by the balls, eh? You got that cow by the balls, buddy? Yeah, you do. So I'm thinking for supper tonight, I'm gonna barbecue uh, pork chops because uh, uh, last night we had uh, turkey at mom's for the, the birthday thing. And that was kind of funny. Uh, Freaking birthday uh, thing for presents. My parents always give us some cash and stuff. My mom decided to add a little bit extra, so <laughs> this is funny. First, she got me and my brother some paper towels. Uh, good thing I ran out. I just, just, I'm on my last roll. There's maybe 17 sheets on it, and I was gonna buy some more, but now I don't need to. She also bought us a box of these snot rags, freaking Kleenex, which uh, you get six boxes, and uh, there's like 180 of them per box or some nonsense. I just ran out too. Kleenex and paper towel, great stuff for when you're vaping and you need to clean out your stuff, just saying. Especially uh, Kleenex because you can get it nice and watered up into like a pin and get it into like uh, the intake part, like where you, you basically inhale your vaping juice. Uh, sometimes crusties build up in there, dried up e-liquid, comes into crusties and the only way you take that out. Uh, Q-tips work nice too for it, but I find Kleenex, you make it into like a pin, you get it in there and you twist it and you pull it out and yanks all the shit out. But also, got some soap and four extra bottles for when I run out. And enough shit tickets to last me for another three years. This is awesome. You see, this pack of shit tickets here, I really gotta organize this and go through it and fucking throw some stuff out. Come spring, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna happen. This pack here I bought last year, like a month and a half after the X left. Still had some shit tickets in the house, and I bought those then. Yeah, they've lasted me almost a year. I still got six rolls. Plus I got the two other packs. Mom's like, really? How can a pack of toilet paper last you a year? Don't you wipe your ass and things? I'm like, well, yeah, but I mainly shit at work. You know, like when I'm here, what am I doing? I'm sleeping or I'm drinking coffee. I'm barely ever home. And most of the time when I'm here, it's I'm sleeping. I, I don't, when I'm at work, I'm at work. Like except for the weekends, you know, I might crap every once in a while on the weekend. But during the week, I'm in the crap at work. He's their toilet paper, frig it. But uh, that's why it lasts me so long. That and, well, girls always use a lot more toilet paper than guys do, you know? They use it when they pee, they use it when they poop, where a guy just friggin', you know, shake your shit when you're done pissing, and fucking wipe your arse when you're done pooping, you know? We don't need to sit there and friggin' wipe her dinks. We don't do that. Freak's sakes, just shake the fuck out of it and hope the last drop doesn't land in your underwear. Just saying. Ah, just cranked off another coffee. Friggin' need that. I don't know why, but I'm so groggy today. Groggy is even a valid word, but uh, yeah, I'm like super groggy and shit. So I'm gonna drink this other coffee and then we're gonna get outside and see what we can do with that driveway. I don't think I can fire up the blower. A little bit of a problem with that. Oh, don't get me wrong, the snow blower still works. It's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. Mechanically, that blower is mint. The problem is, is where the blower is in the garage and the door she is frozen to the ground, which means I can't get that son of a bitch open. I don't know what the temperature is out there right now. Minus 10 out and they're saying it's gonna snow again. Judging by the lack of clouds, that's kind of hard to believe. Maybe later on it might, but right now, no. And, uh, yeah, so I can't get the blower out of the shed. And by out of the shed, I mean out of the garage, because 
fucking door's frozen. And it won't fit through the little walk door. That walk door is not wide enough. So probably gonna push the snow with the scraper and then scoop it with the little shovel and fire it up on the bank. That's good exercise and I can use that kind. Alrighty, well, I'm almost done my coffee. My second one that is. Yeah, buddy. Just catching up on some YouTube vidges because I haven't been watching them all week because my internet's been shit on the weekend. It's supposed to be fixed tomorrow. It's supposed to. The life of this kitten. This is all she does. It's just lay there. Mm -hmm. That's all she does, except for at night, 4 o'clock in the morning, tears around the house. Other than that, what you see is what you get. Silly kid then. Friggin' nuts. I didn't even know she was in the frame. I just kind of sat the friggin' camera on the carpet and <laughs> let her look around and stuff. But that's all she does is friggin' sleep all night, all day, and then play all night. So, our cat's nocturnal? Pretty sure of it. But anyway, I just had a brain fart and a reality check, followed by another brain fart. Um, I put some laundry on last night and I forgot to put it in the dryer. And, uh, back it off, Oreo. He's really got to quit walking underneath my feet. He's going to get crushed. But, um, fucking flyers. Because I don't do flyer day anymore, what I'm going to do is tell the, the flyer dick not to put them in my, uh, my mailbox. And that way there, I don't have to worry about throwing them out every week. But, uh, right now, I need to swap my laundry from the washer to the dryer. And, uh, then I'm going to go outside and see what I can do with that snow. See if I can get it out of the way. And my big concern is the end of the driveway. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking that maybe my snowblower needs to be modified. And I need to put some weights on the front, uh, thing to make it push down more. Because it's fine in the beginning of the year. Holy fuck, this is definitely a two-handed job getting the laundry out of the washer and putting it in the dryer. But uh, why is it every time I'm in here, they both got to be in here with me? <laughs> Scampers is in the way, Oreo's in the way, frig sakes. But um, what happens is the blower gets to the end of the driveway and the deck doesn't stay level with the driveway and it comes up and then it makes like a hump at the end of the driveway and uh, the G6 every time I back out I hear a crunching sound of something getting caught underneath the car on the snow. Alright, I just kicked this son of a bitch over and uh, I'm gonna bring this computer upstairs I'm gonna start working on it tonight um, while I'm barbecuing I'm gonna try and break into mom's computer the old one in the garage because it might have the parts I need to give this a little bit more jam because it has 256 megs of RAM I think mom's computer had a gig and I'm pretty sure it's DDR1 if it is right on I can chuck it into this piece and we can get this thing a little bit more horsepower and then I'm gonna put Windows XP back on it and get it running right and uh, go from there and I think I have a bigger hard drive because this one here has a 40 gigger I'm pretty sure I have a bigger hard drive kicking around that's about 80 gigs that we can chuck in here and give it a little bit more storage capacity and then it'll be good to go and that's one of my questions so actually you know I, gotta, I really gotta rock a shit freak sakes but that's one of the things that I didn't understand was if Microsoft is making Windows XP end of life, are they going to do like Windows 98, Windows 95 and make it freeware? That's a really good question. They should. Because if Windows XP becomes freeware and anybody can develop for it, kind of like open source, they wouldn't make it open source obviously, but if they made it freeware where anybody could develop for it and use it for whatever, a lot of the ATM machines still use Windows XP, right? And only like a couple of them are going to be upgrading to the Windows 7 and that and the rest are going to be running Windows XP. Does that increase? Does that make for a security risk? Maybe, but it'd be cool if they made it abandoned where they released a copy that didn't require a CD key that anybody could install because even though it's only 32-bit, it's still great for people who want to run simple little home theater PCs and run a 32-bit operating system on it because you don't need 64-bit for that. You can run 32-bit XBMC onto it and be good to go, you know? But a lot of people running home theater PCs with XBMC are running Linux or they're using the Raspberry Pis with their uh, with, with ARM processor and they're running XBMC on that. So, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what the hell he was doing. He's just like opening and closing his mouth really quick. You're weird. Are you weird? Oh God, he's dicked. I gotta rock a shit and then we're gonna go testing out the new toilet paper. Alrighty, that was needed. And uh, let's get out there and dick around with the snow. See if we can maybe, just maybe, clear the driveway. I need my gloves and I should be wearing a hat, but I'm not gonna bother. Where are my gloves? Who am my gloves? Here they are. Okay, I'm gonna get out there. You see right here is where the problem is. And uh, it comes up really high and then it drops down pretty low. And that's what the G6 keeps banging up on. I don't know what part of the G6, but something hits it. That plastic shovel ain't chewing through that. So I guess it's time for Oreo's poop shovel. We'll get that out of the garage. Holy shit, that ice is on there, good people. Freak sakes. But we flattened her out. Still got a little hump on the end there, but whatever. It's supposed to get warm. This will go down. I think we're good to go. 
friggin' any hoozle people. I'm gonna shut the vlog down here. Probably gonna make another one tonight. We're already 15 minutes in. That's long enough, I do say so myself. Even though some people do like the longer vlogs, I'm trying to keep them shorter and more to the point, even though I don't even know what the point of today's video was, except for vlogging life was attempted to be hacked. I, uh, kind of, you know, friggin' sakes, I'm shaky the camera guy. I need to eat some food or something. But, uh, <laughs> I flattened out, well, not really flattened, but I put a better ramp on the end of the driveway, but it's supposed to go up to like, like, uh, where's the weather network thing that I was looking at. Um, today it's like minus 10, minus 11, but by Friday, next Friday, it's going to be in the pluses and it's supposed to hold there for like a good portion of April. And when that happens, that snow is just going to come, come, you know, freaking raging down and it's going to die off and, and other things. But, um, yeah, once it's all, all warm out, what I can probably do is get out there and really start working it over because it'll be slushier and I can fuck fire it off onto the yard. And then uh, I'm saying by probably around April 20th, 420, um, I can probably get the Trans Am out and about and then I'll go get the new sticker. Now one of the questions that was asked on my re previous vlog, uh, one of my vlogs anyway, was uh, why do you need the mileage to get your new sticker? And um, I'm going to be honest with you, I honestly don't know. I have no idea. Uh, when I had my Sierra, the odometer was stuck at 219,000 kilometers. Now that wasn't the mileage on the engine because the engine that was in that truck was one that we put in after because the 305 burnt more oil than fuel because uh, I can't remember what Chuck said, some about rings. Uh, the rings were blown or whatever the hell that means, but, and I guess oil was getting into the fuel and like it would literally look like James Bond's smoke machine. It was awesome, but uh, the cops didn't really appreciate it much and had me pull the truck till I got it fixed and to rebuild the 305 was going to cost me like $1,100 at the shop and the 350 that I put into it was one that my buddy Chuck got me for like a hundred bucks and it was a GM good wrench engine don't know the specs don't know how much horsepower but she smoked the tires pretty good but it was a two-wheel peel truck so you know it doesn't take much to smoke the tires on a two-wheel peel and unlike the Trans Am both tires spun at the same time so it actually put down two tire tracks instead of looking like a motorbike did a burnout so that was kind of cool but yeah I ended up getting rid of that truck for all the wrong reasons I really I still regret that to this day because that truck was fucking awesome even though it was two-wheel drive if you guys wonder what it looked like, you remember Rex 4x4's old truck blue, or I think he called it Smokey. Yeah, Smokey. Rex had the 4.3 liter V6, I had the 5.7 liter V8, and uh, it was still two-wheel drive, eight-foot box, single cab. Oreo loved that truck, because he used to sit up on the dash pad and look out the window while we drove. It was pretty comfy for him, you know, if we got into an accident, it would have been a freaking black little Muppet flying around the cabin, but... You know, he, he really enjoyed it. He had fun. But, um, yeah, uh, I miss getting rid of that truck. But I bought that truck for a grand. We put the motor into it. I did a little bit of body work on it, cleaned it up. We did the cab mount so that the body lines would line up with the box and all that nonsense. And the truck was great, and I turned around and sold it for three grand. So, yeah, go team me. But um, I regret getting rid of it. But I did make a good profit on it. But it was still just a two-wheel drive truck, and in the winter I couldn't get it out of the driveway because she just wouldn't hook. Needed more weight in the box. But it was an awesome truck nonetheless. But anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down here, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Why do they ask us our mileage? I have no fucking idea, but they do. And I never gave them the right mileage on the truck anyway. I always make up some numbers. But anyway, people, until next time, keep on vlogging.